the plight of this koala, environmentalists say, is emblematic of the destruction of its natural habitat. Instead of nestling in a eucalypt tree, the koala clings to a power pole. It was stuck there for a number of days. Eventually, it's rescued, the emergency crew providing a much needed safety net. But of course, most koalas aren't that lucky because most of the habitat destruction going on in Queensland happens a long way from urban areas. The lucky koala was spotted by wildlife carer Claire Gover. If they don't have their tree, you know, he's not going to survive. While they undergo rehabilitation, the koalas are free to roam Claire's house. And as you can see, they do make themselves right at home. They're listed as a vulnerable species and cute as can be. But Claire wonders how much can a koala bear? There's no point in protecting the species if we don't protect its habitat. Habitat protection is massively controversial. Land clearing laws that were relaxed under the Newman government could be tightened again under new laws being considered by state parliament. The World Wildlife Fund says those tougher land clearing laws must be supported. We estimate that since the laws were axed by the LNP government in 2013, we've had 5,000 koalas killed in Queensland because of bulldozing of the habitat. Environmental scientists estimate that prior to European settlement, the southeast koala population was well in excess of 100,000. Today they say that population is down to just 15,000. They're being pushed onto the roads, into paddocks, into backyards, um, attacked by dogs. It will be a hotly contested debate, but there's a happy ending for now. The lucky koala has found a new place to call home. For Wilmington, Nine News.